Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game So Today I've got a fun and exciting episode for you guys today because I'm going to be talking about MAME emulation and more specifically how to update MAME so that you have the most recent version of the arcade emulator, bringing over all of your existing games, making sure all your configuration files come forward, and just allowing you to use the most current version of MAME emulation without any trouble whatsoever. Because recently on every single MAME video I do, I see dozens upon dozens of comments, people saying that they're back on like 0.177 or older, and they say it's too hard to update MAME, they don't want to download an 80 gigabyte ROM pack just to make sure it works. And I'm here to tell you today, you don't need to do anything like that whatsoever. I'm going to show you the methodology I use every time I update MAME. It only takes minutes and it makes sure you have the most recent installation and everything just works perfectly fine. Before we get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe and ring that notification bell, definitely helps us out. If you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well because there's so many incredible arcade games you can play on MAME, but if you're on a five or 10 year old version of the emulator, a lot of them just aren't going to work whatsoever. And I totally get once you get something that's stable that plays most of the games you wanna play, you don't really wanna play around with the installation too much. But if you pay attention today, I'll get you up to MAME.277, the newest version as of the recording of this video. And I will teach you long-term how to make sure you can update MAME and keep all of your games running. So all you need to do if you're not current or if you wanna to update to MAME.278, Eight next month, you just go over to the MAME site and you take a look at what the most recent version is. If there's no updates as of the bugs fixed or new hardware working, then you really don't have to update whatsoever. You can wait till the next month, but because Model 2 is going to be going in with a lot of updates very shortly, I know a lot of people are going to want to take a look at that, but point two seven seven brought us a ton of improvements on the Konami GX front, and those are some incredible games. And if you have an older version of MAME, this either isn't going to appear the same way on your screen, or maybe the game isn't going to work whatsoever if you're on a very old version version. That is why it's important to keep MAME up to date because emulation improves all the time and you want the best emulation possible. So what you need to do is just go ahead and download the latest build. As of the recording of this video, it's 0.277, but this methodology will work for every single MAME installation moving forward. This is what I do every single month and it's worked for me every single time I've done it. Go ahead and make a new folder for the newest version of MAME. I just called my MAME update method because obviously this is a tutorial and you'll go ahead and unpack MAME into that folder. Every single time you try to do this, Windows will complain. You just hit run anyway and it'll bring up that extractor. You can put this in whatever folder you want. Just make sure you know where it is because this is going to be important for the tutorial. So you'll see here now that we've unpacked the most recent version of MAME, you're going to have all of the different files, including the MAME.exe executable, and you're going to have all your folders as well. Your ROMs folder is going to be the one we're going to address first, because obviously this is where all of your games are going to live. And people talk about this being difficult to update. Well, right off the top, all you need to do is go into your last MAME installation, go into that ROMs folder, and we're just gonna copy and paste everything over. You can just drag and drop the files and move them from one installation to the other. I like to copy and paste just that way. I have everything in two spots until I know I'm done. This is all you need to do to transport the games between MAME installations. But obviously I only have a few games in here. They were used for video testing. If you see any sort of replace the file in this destination, you can just go ahead and hit skip. And now all of my games from main.276 have been transported over to main.277. Moving your games is as easy as this. You just go ahead and drag and drop them or copy and paste them. And then once you know they're all running well in the new version, you're totally fine to just go ahead and delete the old ROMs out of your old folder, whatever version of MAME you were using. Now I will get into updated May ROMs later on in this video, but we're just gonna go through the settings that I always change because they change between installations. You'll see here, we've loaded up Liquid Kids, a game that I transported from 0.276 to 0.277, and it loads up perfectly fine, but this has filtering on. By default, every new MAME installation leaves the filtering on. If that's something you like, you can totally leave it that way, but for me personally, I want the raw pixels look, so the first thing I do when I actually update MAME is I go back out to the menu and I change two settings which I have to have different. Under video options right here, you're going to see bilinear filtering is on by default. I just 100% turn that off. This only takes about five seconds. The second thing that you need to do if you love light gun games like me is you're gonna go into input device options and you're just gonna switch it over from keyboard to whatever you're using. I use gun for IR, you can use a mouse, you can do whatever you want, but you wanna change that up and suddenly you'll see the game looks like this now. 
we have that bilinear filtering off we have those sharp pixels that's what i like for captures that's what i like for gameplay if you don't want to do this it's perfectly fine but it is up to you now the second thing i always hear people say is they don't want to download 80 gigabyte rom packs to be able to make sure that they have the most recent version of a rom on main because main will switch up the dumps and something that worked six months ago will no longer work in the most current version of MAME. And I totally understand that can be a little bit frustrating when you expect something to work that used to work and now suddenly you get an error message on the screen. But the reality is a lot of you seem to think that you need to download the entirety of the MAME ROM pack again to make sure things work and that is not the case. And that's what I'm going to go over in step two, how to manage your ROMs the best way possible, at least in my opinion. This is what I like to do. There's more than one way to do it, but this is what always works for me. So I think it's what you should do as well. As you'll see here, if we take a look at the main point two seven seven ROM pack, it is 77.55 gigabytes in size. Now you do not need all these games. You don't want all these games. And if you have files that are working and you only want to make sure you have the most recent ones for your version of MAME, downloading all of these files and overwriting it, 98% of that would just be completely counterproductive. You'd be replicating work and replacing files with existing files. But there are update sets. You'll see here, update ROMs 0.276 to 0.277. That's it's only 550.6 megabytes. This will download basically probably within a minute or two and it'll set you up to have the most recent upgraded ROMs for any games you need in the most recent version of MAME. And what I suggest to do is just go ahead and target it to a folder within your MAME installation. But I'm not going to be overwriting files because that yells a lot and you have to sit there and hit yes all the time. So what I'll do is I'll go into the most recent installation, in my case MAME update method, and I will select the ROMs folder and I'll go ahead and use the torrent application to bring down whatever updated ROMs I need. Now this is going to build it into a nested folder that way you don't have to worry about the overwrite errors at this point in time and you can go ahead and manage it in the actual web browser screen. But again you don't even need to grab the entire pack if there's only three or four games you want you can go ahead and select just those and hit OK. So even if you don't want 550 megabytes you can go ahead and just grab the couple of files you need and make sure they work. And this will just basically save you all the time in the world because again I don't know why people think you need to download the entire pack every single time MAME updates it really isn't essential and you'll see here once they are downloaded they're in a folder within the ROMs folder I do this specifically that way I don't have to tell a torrent application it's okay to overwrite them all the time and then I will just drag them up to the ROMs folder from the nest and you will see here now they're all in the ROMs directory and if any of these had upgraded from one version of MAME to the other they're now going to be available to use and all I did was download maybe like six megabytes of total data that's a hell of a lot different than 80 gigabytes and it's what you want to do for sure but I know what you're thinking, video game esoterica. I've set up my older versions of MAME exactly how I want them. Every single game I love to play, I have a configuration for. I've changed the buttons. I've changed the dip switch settings. I basically want to be able to just load back into the game and have it function exactly the same without having to set it up again. And I totally get that. Every single game you might want to do something different with, and you don't want to have to retread that work and do it all over. The good thing is, just like transporting your games, we can transport all those configuration files. You'll see here in the newest version of MAME that I'm using as an example, I loaded Liquid Kids up, so I now have a config file for it. Now granted, I didn't change anything, but any changes I made in the test menu, or if there was coins in there, would persist into the configuration file. So we can go ahead and go into our old version of MAME, whatever you're upgrading from, and we'll just copy and paste those config files over. You'll see here, it has a coin index of 6. If we open up another game, you'll see here some of the different switches for big run have been changed and that's something that can persist into the newest version of MAME. I've never had these configuration files not be portable but if you're coming from a very old version of MAME I can't 100% guarantee they'll be compatible for you but you should be pretty much fine so go ahead and copy those and then paste them into the CFG folder on your new MAME installation. You can go ahead and skip anything that already has the same name. Now when you load up a game whatever configurations you set in your old version of MAME will now persist into the new version version. Something like this racing game right here. I had all my analog values dialed and I had the game set up how I liked it and when you load it up in the newest version of MAME that will persist so long as you're not on an ancient version. And be aware this is just for MAME. It's not for MAME 2003 or any other installation. We're just talking about mainline MAME right now. And as far as safe states are concerned, generally they are portable as well, so long as the driver really hasn't changed that much. This isn't as much of a guarantee as the configuration file, but you'll see here I have a save state for recall horn, which I was capturing
capturing for an imported playlist episode and I definitely do use save states to aid myself in my captures. So if you want to bring those over just go ahead and copy them. If you've already made a save state in the new installation there will be an STA folder for me. There wasn't so I just went ahead and copy and pasted it over and now so long as the driver hasn't changed you'll have your save states, you'll have your configuration files, you'll have your ROMs and you now know that you can just use that ROM upgrade pack. Now as far as where to find stuff like that you'll probably have to join my Discord because it's not something I can talk about on YouTube whatsoever. But I want you to realize updating MAME is only dragging and dropping a couple folders and as far as getting the new versions of games it really is underneath the gigabyte every single time you need to update unless you need to add a bunch of CHDs and even those don't update that often. But I keep hearing this misnomer that every single time you update MAME you have to download another 80 gigabytes worth of data and trust me that's completely redundant and you don't want to do it. You want the most recent version of MAME for sure. And if you get tripped up I do have that emulation night school Patreon tier on my Patreon where you get specific help from me. But go update your main, make sure you're current. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.